In this episode, I am going to configure Swagger UI. Okay. So for that, we need to install a NuGet package from Swagger. So right click on the API, manage NuGet packages. Then in the browse, we can type Swagger. Okay. So we can install this one swatchbuckle dot spnet core okay because internally it has dependencies with swagger swagger gen swagger ui okay so so this one is enough for our application install and the latest version we have at this moment is 6.8.1 so looks like it has been installed now let's take a look under packages yep so we have that and if we expand then we would see that it has internal dependency with swagger swagger gen and swagger ui okay so now let's go to our service extension so first of all we need to create an extension method for the swagger public static void configure swagger and parameter is gonna be i service collection services okay services dot add swagger gen yep then we can say swagger gen sg okay so sg dot swagger doc in here we can specify like a we can give a name we are giving as a b1 like version 1 new open api info we can remove this and add the news using a statement okay and here uh, what we can do we can add the properties okay and the properties are like title what should the title in the ui right let's say this is a product management api okay and this is the version number um b1 version b1 right then we can also you get give the description right um so this is gonna be pretty big let's move it in the next line okay so we can we can say this is a product management api blah 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 whatever you want right you can give the proper description there okay now let's go to the program.cs so here we can register that extension method at swagger gen actually we need to configure that uh, because we are configuring from the extension method configure swagger that's it okay also we need to use another uh, which we can use right after use swagger also use swagger 
यू आई ओके इन द सो अगर यू आई वी कैन कॉन्फिगर दैट सो अगर एन पॉइंट राइट सो यू कैन प्रोवाइड द एन पॉइंट विच इज कैन अभी लेट से सो अगर द बी वन then swagger json okay so so this is the url for the swagger endpoints for that version let's say this is for v1 right for version 1 and then we can give the name is product management api v1 okay then that's enough for now let's give it a try okay it's coming up here so the our url is slash swagger uh b1 right then swagger dot json so here you can get the details of the apis okay so this is a like path for the product get right get method and we have the parameter for that and this is the parameter details so it's it's it looks ugly but we can see in the ui right so to see it in the ui that is going to be like different url for that uh this is going to be swagger slash index dot html yep you can see we have one version here and it has the product get all products method right we also have here product get by id and update method post method delete method right also we have the dto details here okay so this is this looks good right and let's give it a try try it out phase number 1 we want to get three uh records per phase and for the okay so this is for version 1 right for, for the version 1 apa version number is optional so we yep we got it we got three records there right we can see support at versions 2.0 still 1.0 is around but it is deprecating okay so that looks good right now let's configure it for the version 2 also so that is going to be similar doc but we need to provide the swagger doc a uh, name which is b2 also you can provide like b2 here the version i think that's enough and also need to change it here we have to provide the url for b2 for version 2 okay that's it right now let's try okay if you see now we have a drop down here and we can see we have the version 2 also and for the version 2 we have the b here right right that is what we have to provide um in the parameter that's why now it is a required field this b um what else so for the version 1 and that is the version 2 okay and this is the json for api details and for version 2 we have json for version 
okay now i would like to provide the api details like api description right so for that we must add comments on the method so this is the summary so in the summary you can provide the description get all products okay maybe we can also add here get product by product guid right go to the extension method here the extension method we need to find that um, documentation file right from the base directory so how can we get that mm, var xml file which is actually coming from uh, assembly dot get executing assembly right then get name okay then name then after that we can use xml so, so that is gonna be an xml file then bar xml path is gonna be so nothing okay path is gonna be path combine app context dot base directory and xml file okay once we have that xml uh, path with file we can then include that xml comments to the swagger ui right okay now let's build that and now we can so looks like this um, file is not found right so for that we need to add like a property group in the project file so right click on the api then go to like edit project file and here we can add another property group then we can say generate a documentation file and we can mark this true so that was missing okay now let's try again yep if you see now we have the description right we have the description for this one since we only added for these two if we see for the version 2 we don't have that description yet so we can also add the description for the version 2 so description is nothing but we need to add the comment for the method right you can also explore more you can provide more details like what are the request parameters here and what are the values for the, that right we can also explain those here so if we want to see what is that xml file looks like if we go to that folder location so this is that folder location if we go debug and here we should see a api.xml and if we open that like uh, open with wordpad okay so this is a like api documentation here so it has the method description here right get all products get products get product by product guid something like that So that is the file location for that um, documentation right so that's what we have specified it here 
okay instead of uh, writing all this name you could simply write api.xml it could uh, serve the same purpose okay and here what we did we get that uh, project name from the uh, reflection using reflection so this is a very handy tool for our api development right we can also use this api url for testing our apis right instead of using postman you can also use this um, swagger ui but the problem is every time you have to provide the details like if you want to update something right you have to uh, provide it here so that's an, an problem there and if we use the swagger uh, if we use the postman we can store those requests in the collections so that we can reuse from there right so that is also a benefit of using postman guys please like and subscribe my channel if possible please share the video with others also please write your feedback in the comment box and turn on the bell notifications so that as soon as i post a video you will get a notification thank you thank you for your support